Welcome all my lovely goblins and ghouls of the internet. I am Anya, your demonic cinephile, and the trailer for Maxine. Maxine or Max, yeah, Maxine <laughs> just came out. So this is the third and final film in the X trilogy. So the first movie was X and Pearl that came out in the same year, 2022. I know those were a big, um, crazy thing. They came big crazy for that year. Uh, I actually was making a list for 2022. Was it 2022? Was it 2023? I'm not getting my, my years all jumbled up. <laughs> thing is, I'll talk about those films probably later on when the Maxine gets closer to coming out. But I will say that I didn't really care for X when I first watched it. Not that the thing was a bad movie, but I did not understand the hype. The people were hyping X up like it was the next best thing, like it was like uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something like that. And not that that was bad, I just didn't get it. I didn't really start enjoying it until like the last like 30 minutes. Like, okay, this is cool, interesting, I'm getting the ideas and concepts you want to bring up, but... Ah... Uh, can we move this along or something? I don't, I don't understand. Then we got the Pearl. Now Pearl, oh, so that's just kind of the weird opposite. From what I got from the, um, from what I got from like the zeitgeist, <laughs> from the pop culture wise, not a lot of people care about Pearl. Like I found out people hated Pearl kind of like from what I've heard. But opposite is true for me. I actually love Pearl. Like, I thought X was some weird B movie that I would pick up out of the bottom bin shelf. And I thought Pearl was some fantastic film that I loved. Like, I freaking loved Pearl. Pearl was fantastic. Especially Mia Goth's performance. Like, every scene she was in, that woman sold every little thing now, i don't care about oscars i don't care about war shows but mia goth and pearl that is a pure example of just stealing an award from somebody because she deserved every little a nomination for being in pearl but yeah this is the in conclusion of the trilogy following mia goth's other character from x so I'm kind of curious what's going to be about is I think it's about her becoming more of a, a film star. So that's kind of kind of cool. Kind of sad it's not about Pearl because she's the only character in this series that I like. But no, it's still me a goth. So hopefully I'm going to like it. So let's check this out. Make sure all the audio is up and good. Okay. So, A24, gotta Maxine, love you. Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment. Yes, is that she correct? is. Her dream was to be a star. I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, Addresses the lens directly. 1985. Name five celebrities who got the. Okay, so a bit of a time skip because it wasn't uh, X like in 80, 70, in the 70s, I think. Starting horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and. Maxine fucking Minx. Ooh, okay. I'm like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Oh, Night Stalker. In Los Angeles. I can handle myself. All I'm right. Like that girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. Okay, I can see where we're going for this. My employer is a very powerful man. Base motel. Finish with you. It's going to keep knocking at your door. This year. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. 
I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you They're in Hudson. I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? Uh -huh. This is the defining role of your career. She's gonna tell people about her old secret from the first movie. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Oh, well, no. Her name. Maxine. 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 You're a fucking movie star. Ooh. Oh, Kevin Bacon. Triple X. And Maxine. Thank you. <laughs> They're coming soon. Okay, no actual release date. All right. So yeah, this looks cool. I like it a lot more than X. Looks so like we're dealing with a Night Stalker. Going through Hollywood. And I like this actually, we're actually using Hollywood as an actual set. It's not just like, oh, we're in Hollywood. No, we're using My Hollywood. Is a very powerful man. The base motel. Yes, give it to me. Give it, give it, give it. Best. How many more cool sets are we going to get like this? Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. We're gonna get, looks like they're gonna be nice and bloody. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the first movie was in '79. All right. Okay. Something we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. <laughs> what was going that's, on in your life that's, that's interfering cute. with this picture? So I guess that's the sheriff from the in the movie because I do remember there was like a was the sheriffs at the end of of X, kind of mimicking like Texas Chainsaw and like the Strangers to an extent. So her past is going to have to haunt her and maybe it has something to do with the Night Stalker or maybe it has nothing to do with the Night Stalker. Who knows? Okay, I'm really liking this. Like I said, I wasn't really the big fan of, fan of X, but this looks cool. Mystery, um, horror, blood, guts, a little sexy using using um Hollywood it's set in the 80s. It was really cool. I love this. Now, I still wish we had more adventures of Pearl and her deadly sexual exploits. <laughs> oh god, that'd be that'd be hilarious and disturbing. But this looks really good. Yeah, but Maxine, what do you think about the trailer? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, we're gonna probably court uh, review those films sometime in the future. But what are your thoughts on the other two? Of the X trilogy. What did you think about X? Did you really like the movie? How do you think it compares to Pearl and vice versa? Really curious about your guys' opinions. But until then, I'll see you all in the next reaction. And it'll be a uh, <laughs> Okay, end the video. This is stupid. End the video.